What is going on guys and welcome back to TCG Madness and in today's video I'm bringing you guys some Star Wars Unlimited gameplay. I'm bringing you guys the Leia Organo Rebel Tribe deck that I built for $40 or less and I will be going up against Han Solo, uh, a deck that has a much larger and much higher budget than the deck that I have. It's also pretty powerful as well. This will be part one today and part two I will go up against a very high profile, high valued budget Boba Fett deck, a deck that is actually kinda and actually current to the meta at the moment. Uh, before we go uh, forward, if you guys can just do me the really big favor, please hit that like button. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys never miss when I drop a video. Now, this deck that I built, the Leia Organa Rebel Tribe, is coming in at $36.74. You guys can see the deck. The deck we're going up against, Han Solo, comes in at $244.36. So this deck has a much higher budget than mine. I'll uh, go ahead and show you guys. There it is. So you guys can see it for yourself. This is the actual deck. Just plucked it right there. And then you guys can see my deck. So we will be going up against this very powerful Han Solo deck. And we're going to see how well this Leia Organo budget deck that I built bears against it. And this is a pretty good opening hand, actually. So I will not take a mulligan. We will pop these two. We got Mon Mothra and we have the initiative, which is excellent. So pretty much we're looking, there it is. And we're looking for our guy. And we'll go ahead and take him. And he's going to go ahead and play a resource. Han Solo does an excellent job, much like Boba Fett, of just ramping up. And it ramps up fast. And there's the card that you don't want to see is the Millennium Falcon. This thing is just going to come right in and start dishing out some damage. And unfortunately, there's nothing I can do against that. So, what do we pop here? I, we don't need R2-D2 anymore. I mean, I would like to play R2-D2. That'd be pretty good, X-Wing and R2. I think that's a good play. So we'll go ahead and do that. Play R2-D2. And we'll actually, yeah, we'll, we'll put that on top for sure. <clears throat> so he's getting very aggressive here. Given the current board state, we're already at eight. And we're only in turn two here. So we'll play another card. Then we'll attack with Mon Mothra. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Good news is he has two cards in hand. Oh, there we go. We're going to lose somebody. But we'll at least keep the initiative, which is good. Fleet Lieutenant is what we're going to want to play. I was really hoping to keep that X Alliance down just a little bit longer. At this point, actually, I, I don't need it, so we're just going to go ahead and pop it. Interesting. Very interesting. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get two attacks in at once, even though it's only going to do two damage total. Uh, yeah, we'll put that at the bottom of the deck. I don't need that. I need some, I need some powerful event cards is what I need. So we want to do that to at least get both cards. We're going to get both, of you know, attacks in. This way we're free to pretty much do whatever we want here. We're going to go ahead and pop down the star firing gunship. And then it's going to put it right back into my hand. So this opponent is playing really good with control here. 8-3. The bad news for the opponent, though, is only has... It's going to only have one card in hand. So we have two firing, star firing gunships. We're only going to play one. Actually, we'll pop him because we, we're going to play him. And again, because we have the initiative, we're going to attack with both. Again, I know it's only for two damage, but you know what? Do we need that? No, because I need I need a good event card right now. Oof, playing really aggressive here. The, 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 the sad thing is this thing has a 25 health base. Guess we're just gonna pass. We could pop 
deploy the leader. I don't know if this is going to come back to haunt me, but we'll see. We got a pretty good board state with. I could have played shoot first, which is probably what I should have done is played shoot first. That might have been a, a big mistake on my part. We'll see if that comes back to bite me in the ass here. The hope is to play academy training on Leia. Yep. Because it does have the epic action, which was I was afraid of. And now because we played academy train, now we can play shoot first. So it did not come back to haunt me. It's definitely going to come back to haunt my opponent here. Because we're just going to immediately get rid of Han Solo. And then we are going to attack with another rebel unit. And we're going to attack with R2 because I want to see what card we have on top. And that's what we're looking for. So we will not put down the bottom of the deck. Because that's a very powerful event that we're going to need. And then we're going to play Fleetwood Attendant. Attack with a unit. And just like that, we made a pretty big comeback. And we'll attack again. See? Aggressive Han Solo deck, yes. High budget, yes. But Han Solo, seven resources. Hmm. At this point, I don't think I need... I do want to play him because I want to get... The vehicle's up another one, but there's not much I can do if I just play him. So... We'll pop the Starfire Gunship. Ambush. Man. Really hoping that didn't happen. So we will play... Play this. We are going to have to be a little aggressive. So we're going to have to get rid of the Han Solo, I think. As much as it pains me to do this. He's going to pop this. Yep. And then we'll play... You know what, we'll just go right into it. We're just going to get rid of Han Solo here. We're just going to stay aggressive. Clear any board state that the opponent has. They've already claimed the initiative. But we're just going to go right on the offense here. We're going to get most of his health down already. We will get the benefit of R2-D2 again. We will keep that on top. Because if he does play something that has aggressive or... Leia Organa comes in clutch. So, 1913. Opponent has the initiative. Looking pretty good. It looks like we're going to win this one. I mean, we have we still have the Rebel Assault that we can play. Oh, yeah. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play that. We're going to play that. We're going to go with the action ability. I love this ability so much. But you know, before we do that, actually, let's go ahead and do this. Attack with this unit. I think we pretty much won the game here, right? Yeah. I'll attack with R2-D2. And that's why I was looking for... No, I'll put that on top just in case. And there you have it. Leia Organo coming in clutch. Rebel Assault coming in clutch. Like I said, when you, I built this deck, I told you guys, those are the three win cons you want to have. Hopefully you want to play Rogue Squadron with Wedge. That didn't happen, but no worries. We ended up playing Leia. We got lots of attacks on her first ability. And then playing the Rebel Assault. And then finish off our opponent. You guys can see. Leia Organo, as long as you play aggressive, a pretty, pretty, pretty good deck. And again, you can get this deck for under $40, for $36. You can build this deck. It's a pretty fun deck. I like this deck a lot. And again, it's the easiest deck to pilot and master. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed this gameplay. Please do me a big favor. Hit that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Comment down below if there's any decks that you guys would like to see. Uh, tune in tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be going up against a Boba Fett, a very meta Boba Fett deck. And we'll see how well Leia Organo fares against that deck. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time.